Now we've seen some pretty weird items in the Yu-Gi-Oh card game history, stuff like the Judgment of Light like, Deluxe Edition, you got Power of the Elements being reprinted in Unlimited and having Unlimited Starlights for a single run. And now we have these Legacy of Destruction retail boxes with some packs, but some bonus items in here as well. This is something I've never seen before and I'm excited to be opening up in today's video. Let's find out what's inside and open up some packs. So I have two of these Legacy of Destruction mini retail boxes and I'm excited to open them up. It's something that I've personally never seen before and you guys are going to see here, not only are you guys going to get four Legacy of Destruction nine card packs, which is the regular booster pack, but you get an exclusive token and I'm going to assume that these tokens you're not going to be able to ever find again outside of these mini boxes, which is kind of crazy to think about the fact that they're just going to print tokens in one set and I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think they're ever going to print them again. The one though that I specifically want, just taking a quick look at it right here is uh the ancient gear one that one is really cool the raid raptor one's pretty cool as well I, I don't know these are all pretty cool in my opinion but if i were to hit one i have two of these right if i were to hit one ideally i'd hit the ancient gear one i'm a big gx guy you know how i am right so with that being said let's get right into opening these they're gonna be eight packs of uh, legacy of destruction total and um yeah like i said these are retail boxes right so what i mean by that is you can find these at walmart uh, i don't know in the states if you guys have these at target and stuff so i'm gonna be honest with you but in canada i actually found these at walmart and I'm going to be real with you, they are a little bit overpriced. If you go to an OTS store and just buy four packs, it'll be a lot cheaper. I paid $26 for each of these Canadian, which means you're paying more than $5 a pack essentially because you're only getting four packs, right? So it's not the greatest value, but it's a cool item and I really just wanted to open it up. Let's see how it's... Uh, oh, okay, this is weird. So you got, actually have to pull this whole thing out. I've never, I've never done this before. Okay, and there's a token. Okay, and that's it. All right, so let's move this to the side and uh, let's see what our first token over here is. Okay, please be the ancient gear one. Oh, the Raid Raptor one. Oh, and it's a super rare. Okay, actually, that's pretty cool. Let me show you guys. This is, this is actually kind of cool. It's a super rare token and it's a Raid Raptor one. You know what? Not super mad about that one. I do like the Raid Raptor stuff. I am a big fan of that. Any of the anime stuff, to be honest with you, is really cool. You know what? Let's just open up the second one and find out what the token is because I, I really want the ancient gear one and I got to know if I'm going to have to go pick up more of these or i'm gonna have to go out to find someone who pulled the ancient gear one who's willing to uh trade it to me oh the token's in here okay 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 what is it huh double of the raid rat what are the odds what are, how many different ones do we have here five different tokens and we pulled two of the same one okay okay that's interesting i guess yeah we got eight of the, the legacy of destruction packs over here now this set i actually didn't open up at all it's a set that i think is really really good like i think it's a really cool set there's a lot of really nice stuff in here but i just never had the chance to open it up and i'm gonna be honest with you the reason for that is because rarity collection 2 is coming out and i really wanted to put a lot of my funds into rarity collection 2 so that's something that's been happening that's coming out soon you guys are going to see a full case opening for that soon but let's get right into legacy of destruction over here okay so our very first pack on the channel i'm pretty sure of legacy of destruction i opened none of this up i've uh, picked up some of the cards that i needed for it but i've never actually opened any of the packs so let's Let's get into it uh this set honestly the light swarm stuff is pretty cool of course oh right off the bat an ultra rare snake eyes diabella star this card is really really good i don't think it's seen a home yet right now in the tcg in any of the decks however i think this card is really powerful and it's a card definitely that could see a lot of play so snake eyes diabella star to start off the opening an ultra rare absolutely insane i was going to say we we still haven't like it's been so long since we've pulled a qcr ideally if we we're able to pull a qcr that would be that would be so cool to be honest with you the odds are really really low but if we can pull either a nightmare throne or a qcr would be really really cool nightmare throne i want to play you bell and i think that, that that's that card is insane so nightmare throne is a really cool card i just took it we just pulled an ultra rare and that could have been a nightmare throne but that's okay that's just a super rare. goblin biker oh they got they got more support in this that's pretty cool uh we got some dinos tempies oh yeah i forgot about the tempies uh pydro would be a really really good one that's a really expensive super rare honestly so pydro would be a really good pull and you got the rank 10 monster i forget the name off the top of my head but the rank 10 is really good there's some pretty good good cards in the set all the yugi cards of course those are more um in my opinion casual but uh i think they're still pretty cool cards i wouldn't mind pulling them multi-universe super rare over here Okay, so that's our third pack. I, I, I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna assume you probably get one hit per one of these. Uh, you know what? That's not necessarily true, right? It's, it's hits are what one in one in four packs. Ultra rares is four. I don't know the math here. I don't know the math. I think it is one in every four packs. So we're probably not gonna hit anything, but you never really know, right? We gotta we gotta hope for the best here. So Ashen, 
Melodious Concreto. And oh, Shining Sarcophagus Secret Rare right out of our... This is our first uh, our first mini box over here. That is really, really cool. Shining Sarcophagus over here. I really like this card. I think this is this is actually a really cool uh, support card for uh, the... the no, it's not Horus. It's the Yugi stuff. I don't... The, the Gondora? Is that that's what it's called? I don't know. Maybe the whole archetype is called Sarcophagus archetype. I, I don't know what the archetype is called. But you know what? That's a pretty good first mini box. We got an Ultra Rare and a Secret Rare. If we're able to keep that up in the second mini box, Box, that'd be insane now the odds of that happening i'm not sure i don't know how these mini boxes work like i said i don't know if there are any ratios like booster box ratios or if it's just no ratios at all if it's no ratios that could be cool because you could hit really really good but if there are ratios at least you're more or less guaranteed to hit something so it, it really depends on what you prefer do you prefer the guarantee or do you prefer just the rng of it right so we got a turn silence over here as a super rare. I, I'm not too mad though. We, we did pull a secret rare and we pulled a dive all star. It's not bad in ultra rare. If we can pull in terms of the two supers, if we can pull a Pyra, that would be really nice. Uh, in terms of the ultras, I mean, oh, the light sworn stuff. I completely forgot. Yeah, the light sworn, uh, the dragonling, dragonling, dragon, whatever. That one um, would be a really cool ultra rare to pull. We got, ooh, another ultra rare, Vorable the Dragon Undertaker. I have I've never seen this card, but it looks like an illusion support card. Can't be mad with that, but I've uh, I've yet to I've never seen this card in my life. I'm gonna have to read that later. I have no idea what that card. I know that Illusion did get support in this. I'm, I'm pretty sure all the Yugi stuff is is Illusion stuff, right? Pretty sure. Another Ultra Rare. I know I'm not too excited about that one, but that's just because I don't know the card. Maybe that maybe it's a good one. I don't think it is though. I feel like people will be talking about it more. But you know what? An Ultra Rare. Not too bad. Two Ultras so far, right? We got, oh, just a Super Rare here. Yep. Metal Tronus over here as our Super Rare. Okay, so we got one final pack. What can we hit on our final pack? So far, I would say two Ultras and a Secret in, in seven packs. This is now our eight. Not too bad. Not too shabby. I haven't had the greatest luck with my pack openings recently. I'm going to be honest with you. So the fact that I'm hitting Secret Rares, I might get overly... Ooh, ooh, that was not good. But maybe is that a good sign? I feel like it's four to the front. I feel like this would be the hit, I think. I think that's how it works. Okay, so let's do it this way. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, I, I haven't gotten a lot of really good luck recently with my pulls. So hopefully we can do a little bit better today. I mean, it looks like we've gotten, we've done pretty good so far, a secret rare and two ultras. But let's see if we can end it off on a banger, which we are not a pendulum, which super rare. You know what though? <sighs> the set is pretty cool. I, mean, I did pull this, I mean, the Shining Sarcophagus is really cool. I think that's a really cool card. The Snake Eyes Dive L Star as well is a really cool card. So we did get three hits today, which is not bad out of eight packs. I, I think that is on par with ratio. I think it's like one in nine, pa one in, or one in three. So it'd be three in nine packs. I, I don't know. I think we hit pretty good. But uh, that's it for today's opening. I know it was a shorter opening, but it is a product that I've personally never opened up before. It's a product that I don't see very often come out for Yu-Gi-Oh! And I really like the idea of the token cards. We didn't hit the Ancient Gear token card, but the Raid Raptor one is still pretty cool. So I'm not too upset about that one. And maybe I find someone who hit the Ancient Gear one, I could trade the Raid Raptor one for the Ancient Gear one. And then everyone's kind of in a, in a good place, right? So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. If you want to see more pack openings just like this one, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Content. I also do deck profiles, combo videos, dual replays, all that good stuff. You guys are going to catch it right here on the channel. So make sure you guys subscribe for all of that. So I appreciate you guys. Like I said earlier, I wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. This is a blessing, honestly. And I'm only here because of you guys. So I appreciate you guys very much. So thank you guys all for watching. And with that, Spanko signing out. Peace.